Hello there, my name is Ismail. Today we're going to be making this shoe here. Uh, let me bring it back here. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. So the hardest part of this shoe is this seam or ring here <coughs> because of the de these details here, uh, but I uh, will see how we can approach that. But I think everything else is fairly simple. So yeah, let's see how to approach this. So I'll rotate this so that it's aligned a bit straight in the viewport and uh, shift a at a plane uh, we'll rotate this 90 degrees move it forward so that it's not intersecting or behind uh, our reference image and then i'll go to edit mode maybe first scale this down a bit uh, go to edit mode uh, wireframe turn on wireframe and uh, move these vertices around uh, so that i create uh, this profile here <coughs> i'll follow that profile there and uh, now we can extrude these vertices just to, so that we continue around the shoe. But uh, what I like doing is uh, just selecting one edge like this and then extruding, uh, just following that seam like that. Uh, don't add too many polygons or vertices. Uh, that will make it very hard for you uh, to it, it becomes harder when you add more detail like that at the early stage uh, like this. So I'm just using a few vertices there and uh, also do the same uh, for the bottom part, but maintaining uh, the alignment of these vertices and uh, also uh, the count of the vertices because we're going to be bridging uh, these two. So I can do this like this, like that. But uh, if we go to top mode, you can see this is still a flat surface, so we can just move this around like this, and uh, we can start moving these vertices around. Maybe you can even subdivide this workspace like this, and uh, this can be the front, and uh, we can select these uh, two vertices and push them in like that, or we can turn on proportional editing up here and then move those uh, we can also change the fall off here to this sphere just so that we have that smooth curving so move that uh, sometimes you can see that the bend is in the opposite direction so you can also try rotating this like this and see how if that uh, does it maybe something like this oh, okay oh, let's just move this that says without proportional editing so move those select these move them around there so this should be like there I think something like that is fairly good. And now we can come in, select this edge loop, and then select this edge loop, and uh, right click, bridge edges. We can move this down just a bit like that. And uh, we now can turn on the mirror modifier, but uh, first we need to make sure that uh, uh, this line here is the center, is the pivot point of our objects. So I'll just do shift, uh, I'll go out, uh, just select those two vertices, shift S, cursor to selected, and then right click origin to 3D cursor to move our pivot point or origin to that 3D cursor. And then we can turn on the mirror a modifier like this and uh, uh, we can apply the rotation and scale so that uh, the mirror is co correct like that. So this is what we have so far. Uh, I don't know if it's, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, so uh, if you look at uh, the back here, I don't think it should bend like this. So we can select these vertices and push them down a bit like that. Uh, remember that uh, this image 
uh, was taken at an angle so you have to offset uh, the vertices you don't really have to align the vertices directly to match the seams uh, you just need to eyeball it somehow uh, because there is some some perspective distortion and uh, the camera was was also at an angle when they were taking this object so you can't really match the vertices directly to uh, to the seams but uh, they can just give you a, a guideline they can just be a guideline to what you're doing uh, so you can continue here extrude these vertices like this extrude maybe up to here scale down move these vertices around there and then extrude like that uh, go to top mode uh, you can come into this modifier and turn on clipping so we can move this vertex just right there and uh, we need a few extra vertices here so you can add like two like that and then start moving these vertices around so that we have a smooth surface like that maybe push this If you have this type of shoe that would make it very easy uh, maybe you can just follow that a bit but uh, I don't so I'll just let me see what type of shoe is this <coughs> if I can s get a different angle of this uh, that would be great but I think this is enough we can just use this so right around right about here we can turn on the subdivision surface just to see how the profile is coming on now we can also turn on small shading so this is what we have and you can see the shape coming in in there so let's see what we can do we can turn on this as we are modeling <coughs> so the next thing is maybe to start adding more details here so uh, what we can begin with is, uh, let's see, what should we begin with? And we're adding this so. But uh, before that, let's add a, a loop here and uh, scale it outside. Push it outside. So you, if you use Alt S, um, it will be pushed out along the normals. So that's what you want. Uh, so let me just create a new folder call this clarence shoes so this is what we have um okay you know let's go for this top part here so we can select this loop here uh, like that uh, we can go to top mode here and then extrude it uh, to the uh, to the front to the middle there and uh, we can push these vertices up maybe pull this back a bit like that and uh, we can continue this up around there and around there and around there we need a few loops here to make that smooth transition so we can do that uh, this needs to be something like this and uh, this can be you see i'm using very little polygons uh, that way it's easy for me to work uh, with and uh, make changes as i want so we can also pull this back a bit to make this a bit broader and uh, this had to be carved a bit like that and uh, so at the front here we can just turn this into a face like that so if we turn on the subdivision surface we have something like that let me first hide this for a second and i can see we just we have that uh, so let me switch this off again and i can see i think we can start working on this bottom half so i think we also have a lot of vertices here we can reduce that so that uh, we don't have to deal with that many polygons I think there's also more than necessary here uh, maybe with what we can do is just balance these a bit 
and so that helps something like that. I think we can also push this a bit out like that and uh, now we can select that loop and extrude down like that for the sole of the shoe. So another thing we can do, we can scale this in, so Alt S, uh, because you can see this sole just bends in uh, a bit like that, maybe a bit more, and uh, add another loop there and bend, uh, push that out so that it, not too much, but uh, just a bit that it curves in like that. Uh, so I think this is a flat bottom, so we can uh, select uh, this loop up to around here and uh, extrude that in, uh, merge it to the center, we can scale that, no, we don't need to scale that in, we can just uh, leave it like that, then connect this face to this face, that, ed that edge, and uh, this to this so that we have something like that. So now what we are left with is uh, just adding more details and uh, we can do that in uh, the next part. Thank you.